is gold. Really? Yes, ever since the prank wars back in 03, the, the relationship between the students and staff has never been worse. I think your club's going to bring them all the way back together. You know what they say, student-teacher bonding really grows in the tummy tingles. That's our jingle. <laughs> excellent, excellent. <laughs> Jensen, I think this will be perfect. All due to the Westwood High School Wine tasting club. <laughs> <laughs> I have one concern though, Jensen. Uh, the cost? Well, I think that every student can pitch in a couple dollars each. Excellent, and that's how they'll get 12 servings per person per meeting. I was thinking 14. It gets really thick after a few drinks. <laughs> excellent, excellent. But uh, another question then. If it's 14 instead of 12, how will we address the risk of alcoholism? Well, I was thinking <laughs> we could have it and we could have a, you know, buddy system. Oh, buddy system. Working again. I love it. I absolutely love it, Jensen. It's amazing. Oh, one more concern though. Yes. Um, sorry, I'm trying to remember my concern. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I, I think that's about it. <laughs> I thought you might ask about the drinking age, but, um, you know, you know what they say, a few glasses of wine makes a student body shine, and we toss back a few shots and think of your thoughts, that won't be a concern, right? Wait, Jensen, shots? I thought this was a wine club. Shots of wine! <laughs> oh, oh, tiny little serving size. I love it. I absolutely love it. Jensen, I'll see you Tuesday. Of course. And you know what they say, go all at one class, let's so grab a glass. See you Tuesday. See you Tuesday. You know what they also say? <laughs> a little bit of wine is a fine, fine time. And there's nothing more cool than wine in school. <laughs>
Speed dating is so not my style. Like, there's so many weirdos here. I know, and I'll try it just this one time, but after this, no more blind dates, no more weird introductions at office parties, and no more signing Brad's friends up for my Tuesday pottery classes. Oh, that's the bell to go. Yeah, I'll call you later. Bye, Heather. <laughs> oh, 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 what's up, good looking? If practice makes perfect, then I guess your parents' names must be uh, a practice and a practice. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Todd here. Uh, yeah, so my dad's the chief financial executive at Cool Road Industries Incorporated. <laughs> so I spend most of my days riding around in Benzies and hanging with my friendsies. <laughs>
we're the good guys, remember? Right! Right, keep them healthy, that's our goal. Prevent obesity, prevent carb overload due to carb overload. Reduce <laughs> Day at work. Let's just watch some TV, have some toast. Or quick crap of bread. Bread! There's a 1% chance they have celiac disease and will die slowly if they consume gluten. Gluten! I'll grab the paper. Paper? The paper can be used to roll cigarettes, Lou. <laughs> oh, cancer. We need to remember to leave our signature. The little fish! Sign the, the good guys. guys.
are 46% higher than they were last year. So I guess the club stays. Well, anyways, I, I bled out and I died. And, uh, 
all I could see when I died was the face of my first grade teacher. She just kept, she just kept telling me my dick was too round. <laughs> Well, at least now I know what it's like to be stabbed. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know why I just said that. <laughs> I'm done. I'm ruined. I'll just go to med school and let some dumb science nerd. <laughs> Wait, the pee bit. I'll do the pee bit. <laughs> I pee myself. <laughs> oh god, I really just pee myself. <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> you got the key. But you say he's got the back. You say he's got the back. Oh, baby, you. You got Welcome back to American Ninja Warrior. It's the moment we've all been waiting for. Ruth, Ruthless Wilson, stands at the entrance to the course, ready to make history. That's right, Stu, and man, does she look ready. If you look at that crowd, it's like all of Cleveland turned up to see Ruthless Ruth run the course and beat that wall. I don't know how they didn't miss it, Howie. She is making history as the first blind woman to ever compete on American Ninja Warrior.
Thanks. Mom, Orville's my best friend and my brother. Why can't we walk like this? Because it ain't natural, boys. You're two separate people, two individuals. Please. But it wasn't always like that, was it, Mom? <laughs>
being a silly goose. <laughs> Yes, 
single day. <laughs> Tie me to the head, won't you with me till I laugh. <laughs> Beg pretty please, but you need near cut me slack. <laughs> As the stars came alive and the balls turned blue and <laughs> Ten years ago, she might have stuck around for another night. Used me in a thousand different ways. Those are different days. Those are different days. And the scars are only mine to live and die with. And the answer is only mine to come across But the passion that she gave and got me high with seem a little lost Ten years ago I might have thought that we could make things right Without our love till we turned home gray Those were different days Those are different days.
I was kicked out of the public library. <laughs>
So instead of getting to do offshore wind energy development, like Susan's group, we <laughs> 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 have to get creative. Thus, we decided to look into bees. <laughs>
may cause you to be a sin if God made me this way.
I'll leave you with some of my best work. <laughs> Chicago Fire. Not 
a typical thing. No, if you've kept along with the syllabus and read my latest article in Sea Shanties Monthly, <laughs> you'll know that I take the contrary view. To boil the old man in the sea down to the sea is, as I quite clearly argue, to neglect an important part of the book, namely, <laughs> the old man! How old is this man? How leathery is his skin? Can he still eat solid foods? Or has he reached that inevitable tract of life where one becomes slave to pureed vegetables and various stylings of pudding? <laughs> These are the questions the text leaves us. Do we have the tenacity, nay, the tenaciousness? <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. But do we have the resources? Alas, I am afraid not. <laughs> you know, that kind of kind of tasted like a bear. <laughs> but that just could be my allergy. The apples, not <laughs> <laughs> But let us return to the task at hand. The task at hand. <laughs> <laughs> what are we missing? What connection have we neglected? What stone have we left unturned? I believe I might have a solution to this quagmire. A theory I've been cultivating for many years and am only able to reveal it to all of you here today. I have returned to the textual evidence. <laughs> I direct your attention to page 398. <laughs> and I quote, I, the old man, am a metaphor for the sea. <laughs> The old man and the sea? No! The old man is the sea! <laughs> there you have it, folks. Now, we have about 47 minutes left to catch you, but I think you've all learned enough here for today. Make sure you come next week to hear my philosophies on Tolstoy's War and Peace. Let me give you a little hint. Perhaps war. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>
growth hormone deficiency. <laughs> and he's got a huge heart, guys. Too huge, in fact. It's a real problem. <laughs> All right, Eddie, we'll find a way to shrink that heart, buddy. <laughs> now, to move out of the real world, another one of the formative days of our high school education. Not all learning happens in the classroom. In fact, some learning happens outside of the classroom. <laughs> like that time we had a class outside. <laughs> Science building is being fumigated. <laughs> <laughs> Fumi from the Latin. <laughs> and gatos from the Latin for bugs. <laughs> to whomever says Latin is a dead language, I'd ask you not to say that out of respect for Mrs. Stevenson, the Latin teacher who died this year. <laughs> Class. And once she was awake, her horrible flashbacks made it difficult to understand what she was saying. But she loved life. She loved all of us, except for Eddie, whose tiny stature reminded her of her ex husband. Alright, guys, it wasn't all just studying books, right? We had some fun too, right? Like that time Richard released all those fire ants into assembly and yelled, now who has ants? <laughs> In their pants. <laughs> we all did, Richard. Or <laughs> that time we thought Gerald Bass was kidnapped by that cult. And then find out that he had started the cult. <laughs> Gerald Bass is always so creative. And I pray that the Lord Zulu is raining fire into his soul as his angel black boss travels on the <laughs> Finally, right? Who can forget the time Susan fell asleep driving to school? <laughs> now, I want to try to impart some words of wisdom onto you, my classmates, as we jump head forward into the next abyss. I would like to read a quote. <laughs> the day that you start taking responsibility for yourself, the day you stop making any excuses, that's the day you start to the top. What? <laughs> <laughs> that quote is said by Heisman Winnie Running Back and my uncle, O.J. Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> we might have a little bit to learn from him, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and learning does not stop now. We will continue to progress and push forward, both against the current, born ceaselessly into the past. <laughs> <sighs> we will. I say good luck, and may your hearts always be full, except for yours, Eddie. If we got more full, it'll explode, buddy. <laughs> Can join the <laughs> 